okay yeah so uh, yeah you you uh, i mean you can advance your uh, career into different streams and you can uh, i mean enhance yourself even if 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 in the same profile i mean yeah. uh, as soon as you grow in in your career as soon as yeah. the experience uh, comes into picture excel plays a uh, pivotal role there yes yes sure sure thanks so thank yeah thank you next one please hi sir very good morning myself karanan i'm from bangalore uh arvind uh, can you speak a bit loud please i able to hear me now am i audible yeah now you are audible okay so myself farm and i'm basically from bangalore and mm-hmm. i do have 12 plus years of experience in the global mobility domain i'm currently working for armco systems okay okay and yeah with regard to excel like i want to explore a lot of options in the excel that's the reason i thought uh, i can join this course got to it. have got a better it. understanding of the excel okay okay so so i'll uh, in a while i take you quick uh, uh, like summary of the course like uh, the contents of the course what we cover in excel mm-hmm. and then you will get better understanding on um, uh, what i mean how depth we cover and uh, how wide we cover uh, into the topics sure okay. sir uh, uh, nice to be a part of this uh, uh, demonstration sir. and i do have only one question sorry sorry mm-hmm. to... Uh, uh, like, uh, will you teach macro as well, sir? Uh, we, we teach macro. We teach macro as well, but uh, macros we just give an introduction in this particular course. But okay. uh, we have a uh, separate course for the macros too because it won't. Uh, it won't. I mean, it takes. Lo- uh, I mean, plenty of uh, uh, hours to uh, give the introduction to the mac. I mean, uh, macros and uh, about the um, like how to code. uh in the macros and uh, so we have a dedicated session for that dedicated session i mean dedicated course for that to okay. once you learn the advanced excel it will you will be um very comfortable in learning macros too perfect sir yes sir okay yeah yep. thanks thanks sir yep someone else please uh, hi this is uh, shri devi so i am into the it field uh as well uh, like uh, i have like about uh, 15 years of experience uh, but the thing is that i want to uh, i'm right now dealing with lot of data uh, in the excel uh, so i wanted to learn the excel regarding the finances and uh, all the pmo related data so i just want i wanted to learn this course to uh, have a better understanding and implement that in my project okay my- okay so you are already into the uh, i mean you are uh, well experienced and uh, you want to implement whatever i mean you yes. want to enhance the the way you work uh, currently correct yes 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 i i know my problems what i'm facing with excel so if i just go through this training uh, maybe I, i can find a solution for uh, the ones that i'm working on got it got it see most of the times what we do is i mean uh, even we know like uh, parts and parcels of the, like pieces of the excel like we know a few of us know like uh, uh, simple formulas few of us know like yes. they, what they do is like uh, they just do uh, without any understanding they just do as it is it as a process because their colleagues have said that or uh, uh, they have seen in the in the internet but they don't have the better understanding why we are doing it and what if we do here what if we change some parameters uh, how does how that affect the results okay you will get all that understanding here yeah thanks really yeah next one hi this is lakshmi i i started searching uh, searching jobs after two years of gap so i mm-hmm. just wanted a next uh, mna okay okay so you took a career break and Extra, you wanted a uh, uh, skill in my resume in order to get a job got yeah, it yeah not exactly career break uh, after that i got the opportunities but because of the health issues i couldn't join mhm okay got it yeah yep so you uh, so you want to you wanted to uh, choose the data analysis kind of profiles where you can get into the mis jobs yeah or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah exactly thanks lakshmi anyone else yeah uh, hi this is manisha 
yes, so, yeah, I have chosen this Excel because currently I'm pursuing my master's in business analytics. And uh, basically I'm from Hyderabad, but uh, currently I'm staying in United States. So since my major being data analytics, I wanted to focus more on the Excel part since we'll be dealing with uh, more with the data part. Okay. Thank you. So you're doing the master's with the business analytics or the data analytics? Uh, it's business analytics, uh, but uh, basic is the statistics. Okay. So, okay. so yeah. uh, when you are dealing with the business analytics, I mean, uh, the basics start with the Excel because you need to do a lot of data crunching. And uh, uh, yeah, there are many other languages. Uh, I mean, Excel is a, it's a kind of uh, tool, but you have the uh, Python, you have R language. And, yeah. uh, I mean, it all comes into the data science picture, but the basic, the, I mean, uh, when you have the huge data sets, you use all the databases and all, but when you have a simple data collection, um, it's always better to use from the data, uh, from the uh, Excel. Yeah. Okay. yeah, thank you. Anyone else left? Yeah. yeah. Hello, sir. I'm Maniket. I just uh, completed my BBA. So okay. I'm looking to explore. So. Got it. So you're done with your BBA and are you in a plan to have pursue MBA or? Uh, maybe after a year. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, it's always better when you are in the college itself, when you're doing your bachelor's and the master's, I mean, uh, it's better to uh, upskill, like yeah. uh, add all the all the tools which are necessary, uh, at least in your stream. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. More people joined here. Yes. So, hi, this is Navin. So, I'm working as a, one of the agency as an Excel compliance auditor. Mm -hmm. So, like they, in day and day out, like every day I will use complete Excel only for the each and every data and for the audit part. Mm -hmm. So, I want to uh, pursue this course to complete the Microsoft certification, the okay. Excel expert, okay. so that it will uh, give an added advantage to my program. Okay, got it. Are you, I mean, uh, have you done any CA or? Sorry? You, have you done your, your chartered accountant or? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, CBA. Good. Yep. Yeah, sir. Hi, everyone. I'm Walid. I'm working with Cancer. Okay. I have three point five years experience. And I'm done with MBA. Okay. I'm going to ask it in September. Okay. Which profile you are working with, Cancer? In France. Finance, any particular like like investment banking kind of thing or like. Yeah. Accounting related. This is this is Chinese. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's a. We are trying to transfer knowledge. So basically, the secondary research, uh, secondary research analysis kind of thing. You will give complete data, which is important for the industry. Got it. Got it. So you need to build some dashboards kind of thing, which you play a very key role there. Okay. Yes. Your sir, please. Okay. 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 Got it. Got it. Okay. Still hot. Okay. Yep. So we are, uh, I mean, most of us has introduced themselves. Uh, coming to me, I'm Vinod. I have around 10 years of experience. I work with, uh, uh, I work, I have a uh, like portfolio of working with MNCs and working with the startups and the financial companies. I started my career with the Cognizant and then uh, post my uh, MBA, I did uh, start with the JP Morgan. And then I work with the startups and uh, currently working with one of the product based companies in Hyderabad. So day in, day out, I use Excel a lot. I use Excel for different purposes. 
uh, for the data migration related activities for uh, uh, analysis purpose. I did my um, like thesis on the financial research kind of thing, or uh, um, collating the data sets and uh, many, many other activities and um, uh, building the dashboards and uh, uh, building the uh, KPIs kind of thing, uh, which uh, and many automations things like where we can reduce the uh, reduce the manual effort where we where we keep doing the repeated things every day and we wanted to automate and that saves lots of uh, time right when we reduce the when we reduce the man hours that is what the company is looking for correct so and yeah, not only not only professionally i use uh, i use excel for my personal uh, trackers also uh, for uh, for the uh, like uh, finance tracking or uh, whatever be the activities tracking or the or the to dos, uh, you can you have uh, you have many things to do, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been fun having been uh, working with Excel and uh, every day in day out. I mean, uh, for every releases, Microsoft has been adding new features and new updates to the Excel, and we are getting many new formulas, many new features, and it's always fun to learn Excel. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let me take to the take you through the contents of the course. Okay. Yeah. One moment. Yeah. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay. So, so we this is the like this is the uh, like outline of the course contents. What we take uh, basically this is for uh, uh, it goes for four to five weekends, okay, and both Saturday and Sunday, eleven to two in the morning, okay. It it goes with the both offline and online. Okay, you can join at your convenience, but uh, it at, at your preference, okay. And to start with this. We start with the basics of the Excel, okay. But we don't spend more time in more time in the basics. Like if you already know few basics, it's a kind of refresher for you. Or if you know, uh, you can. I mean, you will learn the correct way of doing it, okay. And then uh, we start with the advanced concepts. So in the basics, we cover like these kind of things. Uh, we have the the number group, conditional formatting. In the conditional formatting, we have different different rules, um, like uh, how to highlight the duplicates, how to uh, I mean how to highlight the cells using the formulas. Also. I mean most of us know how to use the default default uh, uh, features which are available in the conditional formatting. But if we use I mean we can highlight the cells using the formulas also. Like if, if we don't have the default things available in that, and we can use the formula, okay? And uh, table format options, and then we go. We slowly move to the advanced Excel concepts. Like the the primary thing which plays role in the advanced text, advanced Excel is like the formulas, okay? If you have, you know the formulas, few of you don't know the formulas. So once you understand how to write the formula, how to start with the formula or uh, the funders of the formula, then you can write formulas on your own by looking at the syntax itself. So, uh, I mean, till now, you must have learned the formulas by, by just like 
by hurting or uh, by uh, like on the way on on when you keep writing the formulas you get some things right but by looking at the syntax and by looking by understanding what you need to uh, give correct inputs to the formula and uh, if you give non uh, non parametrical inputs then what kind of errors you get when you understand all those things in depth then it's it's a cake work for you to write the formulas okay yeah so coming to the formulas we cover many of the formulas like uh, like we we go with the text functions or uh, date and time mathematical and uh, statistical informational lookup lookup formulas reference formulas and all and then post that we we deal with the report designing techniques like the um uh, illustration spark lines all the filter options you have or uh, uh, some page setup kind of thing and the data management techniques also like sorting and filtering custom sort advanced filter or uh, uh, like the data validation techniques or the like how you do the formula auditing and uh, you learn about the uh, data analysis too like the like the pivot table pivot chart and uh, how to build the dashboards how to build the charts okay and uh, uh, the slicing uh, the parts and uh, you you I, i will teach you some a few shortcuts also okay on the go on every every session we keep doing uh, you will learn lots of formulas to formulas to and even the keyboard shortcuts to and the easiest way of doing the Or like the data analysis or uh, data cleanup kind of things. Okay, I want to take a little pause. Uh, any any doubts till now, or you wanted to have some clarification on this? Anyone? Nothing from my end, sir. All good. Thank you. So, uh, material for practice. What we do is. like on uh, whenever whenever i'm taking the session i i i don't go with the theory part i mean i always do with the practicals so as soon as i i mean as soon as i uh, discuss the formulas okay i do it on the practical i mean i share the same workbook with you so you can download that we we maintain the google drive okay once you are enrolled with this course uh, you'll get the google drive access uh with the with the batch details and all so you can download that and as soon as the session is done we share that um, google i mean the google drive link is with you i'll upload that file on the google drive so you can download that and you can have the uh, same as the practice session and apart from that we provide uh, some exercises also some task sheets which are a bit more complex than we discussed that in the classroom okay so it will be it will be like uh you will get a chance to think on that okay and if you if you are still facing the problem with that uh, exercises we'll discuss that in the class too okay it's a kind of similar exercises but you need to apply multiple uh, scenarios on one of the uh, task it will be like a combination of the uh, different complex things okay yep yes uh someone from online was asking some question hello yes please i'm uh, just now i'm joined can i export this video uh, audio is uh... okay okay got it so uh we were having some quick round of introduction among ourselves and then we i started with the uh, contents of the course okay um you didn't miss a lot but you can always refer to the recording is it okay okay yep anyone else have doubts in online okay great so tell me one thing what is excel it's okay you can you can tell anything i mean data no one no one is here to judge yeah data combined with rows and columns the data combined with rows and columns okay that is what i mean uh, 
you see on the excel, on the excel and uh, that is what we use why we use excel but what is excel uh, it is a spreadsheet of everything uh, it is an application combination of where we can uh, store our data exactly i mean as you said the first point it is an application okay the usage of the application we have many things we can do we can do the storage we can do the analysis but first thing it is application which is developed by the microsoft okay like any other application we have the uh, powerpoint we have microsoft word we have access outlook it goes into the same family but every application has its own usages and the excel has its own usages like we'll go into the uh, into the detail okay yep someone online you're saying something i was supposed to say it's a kind of database where we can enter the numbers where we can manipulate the data and get our desired output uh, your voice is low arun can you speak a bit loud i'm really sorry sir am i audible now yep is it better okay so i mean to say that uh, it's a kind of database where you can store the data you can manipulate the data and you can play around where you can get the desired output yeah and these are all the like usage usages of excel okay as i said like uh, uh, excel is used uh, many ways and uh, we'll we'll slowly talk about that what are the usages of excel okay yep yeah. let me go to the workbook so the workbook which i am dealing with it will have uh, yeah so the workbook i am dealing with it will have the name that starts with the batch your batch number okay and uh, i i keep updating this workbook okay and i share this with you guys in the over the google drive and uh, we have other workbooks also and i provide uh, some initial material to where you can um, learn more about the excel and there, are, there are some keyboard shortcuts list too okay so this is just kind of reference for you okay and you can always learn many things uh, which uh, i let me just see your screen you can't see my screen yes is it everyone or can others see my screen we can see your screen yes <clears throat> i will just join yes. we are able to see your screen okay i think uh are we, who is not able to see my screen okay sir i will again i will just join okay okay yeah so so we were discussing about the excel right like uh, what is excel and why we use excel we use excel for storing the data for calculation for analyzing the data for pictorial representation for charts for links many things okay and how excel started there were many applications prior to excel which were doing the same kind of uh, um, usages like the excel but they were not very user friendly and they were not like having the uh, ui kind of thing so we used to submit some things and we used to get some result but not like excel has a very good ui and very user friendly okay and uh, like excel starts with a very very i mean the the basic thing of excel is a cell okay cell is nothing but a combination of a column and a row okay so that is the reason whenever you select any cell you look at this name box this is nothing but the address of the cell okay i select this cell that is nothing but the combination of d column and 17th row here you see this that is the reason you get when you select this d17 okay like that you select any cell you don't get the same address bar address there because every cell has its unique address it's uh, i mean uh this is about this about excel sheet okay when you go to another excel sheet it will be different okay and every cell has its own unique address this another sheet also can have the d17 but when you refer to that cell you will get that sheet name in front of that 
that's how the cell addresses are very different very unique when you uh, refer to uh, the same cell across the sheets okay you will get to know when we are using the reference formulas like the v lookup and all uh, you will clearly understand what is the difference there okay yeah just give me a moment So when you open any Excel sheet, okay, and uh, you keep seeing these kind of extensions like dot .xls, dot .xlsx, dot .xlsb, dot .xlsm, and you see other other kinds of extensions also. Any any idea what are these extensions? Versions. The versions of Excel. So this is these are not the versions, but if you take, I mean, the, uh, there are the default extensions based on the versions. Like earlier, earlier, I mean, currently uh, we have like uh, uh, Excel 2019 and uh, Office 365 also. Okay. So whenever you save a new Excel sheet, let's say I'm taking a new Excel sheet, I'm taking this blank workbook. Okay. And if I try to save this, If I try to save this, let's say, selecting some, okay. If you see this, and if I save this book two, this is this is where I'm saving that. Okay, let me give that as uh, training. Let's put test. Okay, and if I save that workbook there, and if I go to the documents. And you see this, this is the training underscore test. And you see here, okay, the extensions are not enabled here. One moment.
so i just enabled the uh, the explorer options so i just wanted to see show you how the extension is so if you see this the, what is the extension here dot xls x correct so in the latest version of the excel whenever you save a file the default option i mean the default saving is dot xls x okay but if you take the earlier versions of excel like 97 uh, 2003 or uh, uh, earlier versions and when you if you have that version if you save that workbook the default option will be in dot xls okay i'll tell you what is the difference between the dot xls and dot xls x even in the latest version you can save that in dot xls 97 to 2003 workbook okay and this, these are the earlier versions and these are the latest versions you have dot xls x okay so i'll tell you the difference between the dot xls and dot xls x and dot xls m and dot xls b okay so the dot xls version it can store data and the macros okay you might be getting it out what is macros macros is nothing but a the automation was like someone asked uh, macro is nothing but a piece of code which is written in the vba language vba is nothing but visual visual basic for applications okay where let's say i have a task where i download a report and i want to do some changes to that report okay and i want to build some dashboard to that and it takes around one hour for me and i want to do the same repeated action every day okay but the report is different the the data is different let's say i am downloading uh, from the from a, from a different website and i do some i need to do some changes and i need to build some dashboard out of that every day i am doing the same task but the data is different but the report format is same okay i spend one hour of my time every day but if i write some programming language or the macros for that i can that the same one hour time can be reduced to one single click okay that is nothing but the macros the macros what where we write us in excel itself we, have, we write we have an editor for that okay earlier the previous version used to store macros in dot xls itself okay but for the safety purposes the microsoft has separated that to the dot xlsm file in the in the latest version if you want to store macros you need to store you need to save that file as dot xlsm okay if you have any file that has dot xlsx you can confidently say that this file doesn't have any macros okay and if the file is saved in dot xlsm m that can have macros and if the file is saved in dot xls that might have macros but here we don't have macros okay and macros can do anything we can use macros for for uh, uh, for some bad purposes also like it can steal the data from your computer it can do some background uh, 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 actions too like let's say it can collect some information from your desktop and it can send an email to uh, send an email to someone and it can even delete from your uh, delete i mean trash cans also so that you don't have any trace of that okay so whenever you get dot xls file or dot xlsm file from unknown resources don't open that okay it might have macros it can do harm to your computer okay but i mean as i said like most of the trusted sites where you download the uh, reports and the workbooks they don't they don't have anything but don't do it from unknown resources if you want to open just confirm that before opening it okay yeah apart from that we have uh, we have even the rows and columns limitation also like in the earlier version like 97 to 2003 we used to have only 65000 rows currently in the, in this particular sheet if i go to the ending cell ending row look at this number what is this number 1048000 okay it's not visible is it visible now yes sir 
10 lakh 48,576 rows we have. Okay, it looks very small. The Excel looks very small because we see only these many cells at a time, but it has 10 lakh 48,000 rows. Okay, and XFD columns, till XFD. That is nothing but if you see uh, 16,384 columns are there. Okay, Excel is not small. It can store lots of amount of data and it all depends on your system, how it renders, how fast it renders. Okay, and in the earlier versions, we used to have only 256 columns. But latest one we have many. Okay. Yeah. So a quick exercise for you guys. Column. Column. No, no, no. Column address is nothing but the column label. We we have the cell address. We don't have the row address or the column address. Okay, okay. The the column name, the column label, this one. What is binary workbook? Okay, this is the the binary workbook is nothing but uh, everything is same, but only the the way you store you save the file, the technological difference. So let's say uh, you have some fifty MB file, okay, and you don't need that file. You just Keep it that for uh, just a reference or the auditing purpose. Okay, where you use it, you open it very rare, like uh, once in a year or twice in a uh, twice in a year. But you need that for the storage purpose or the audit purpose. When you want to store the 50 MB data and you have some one lakh customers, okay, so 50 lakh MB of data you need, correct? But if you store the same file in the .xlsb format, then the size, the file size will get reduced to 30 MB or 20 MB because the way it stores is different. But the data and everything is in the binary workbook. So most of the financial companies, uh, they they maintain the banks and all they maintain the records in .xlsb format to to uh, to stay save the storage. Uh, storage cost to minimize, to minimize the storage cost okay nowadays i mean it's all online right and uh, even the cloud is also uh, becoming costlier and if you open the g drive you'll get to know so already your uh, drive is full you need to subscribe for the additional storage kind of thing yeah, it's getting the messages okay that time you can use this dot uh, formats okay yeah Quick task for you. So I just want to open Excel and I want to fill every cell here, okay, with some random data. Okay. Let's say it takes for me to fill, I mean, one cell, one second. Okay. Now, I want to fill the complete Excel sheet. Complete Excel sheet. No copy paste, just manually. So my my average estimation time is like it takes around one second to fill one cell. Okay. So how much time it takes to complete one Excel sheet? You understood my question? Okay. It's only 10 lakh 48,576 into, into columns are also there, right? Into 16,000 something. Yeah, into 60, 16,000 something. Okay. So any random guess how much time it takes? 10 days. 10 days. Okay. Any other guess? One month. One month. Okay. Any other guess? Online. I want people to participate. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Any any random guess how much time it takes?
one month, ten days, two months, one year. Okay, let's do a simple math there. How many cells we have? Here we have the data. We have ten lakh forty eight thousand five seventy six rows multiplied by sixteen thousand three eighty four columns. That gives me how many number of cells are there? These many some these many number of cells. Seventeen hundred rows. Okay. Now, I want to. I'm I'm very positive, and uh, I I am I'm thinking that it will take at least one year. So I want to calculate how many number of seconds in a year. Okay. So how many days in a year? Three sixty five multiplied by how many hours in a day? Twenty four multiplied by how many minutes in a uh, sixty minutes in an hour? Into sixty seconds. This gives me how many seconds in a year? This is like three crore fifteen lakhs thirty six thousand. Now, if I divide this number with the number of seconds in a year, you will get the answer. Somewhere around five hundred and forty five years. Hundred and forty five years. Yes. Okay. That that huge is the Excel. I mean, no one no one fills that uh, manually. Okay, but you have that amount of uh, space in Excel to store this the data. Okay, and that is only one sheet. You can add n number of sheets. As I said, it always depends on your uh, system processor. Okay, the speed and the storage capacity, the that is how it renders the data. Okay, the problem here is you you might think that in the database it won't take. I mean, in the when when you are working with the databases, it won't take that much time. Correct to render the data. What is the difference between Excel and the database? Database stores the data. Okay, Excel also stores the data, right? No operations. Small batch works. Even you can do that. Yeah. In, in database, you can do. You, even you can do in the Excel. Sorry. Yes. Excel no. manual process. Database is auto. Query uh, language. No. Even even in the database, also you need to write queries to get the data. Correct. I'll tell you. Whenever you open Excel. Okay. In Excel, right. Excel tries to show the complete data, correct? But whenever you open the database, you don't see the complete data. You, I mean, you can write some command, select star command, but if you have more rows there, like in lakhs of rows, even that won't show you the complete data. It will show you limited number of records, and it will ask you to render more records. Okay, that is like you just. You don't know what is the complete data. You can't see the complete data at once. You just write your commands to get the data based on your conditions. Okay. In Excel, it is not like that. It shows. It tries to show the complete data. That is why it takes a lot of time. And you have the UI part of that too, like the graphics and everything, that the formats and everything. But databases won't have the look and feel format. They have the data types. Data type formats, but not the look and feel formats. Yes, please. Even Excel also is not possible to uh, uh, to store data like that. If you apply any kind of formulas, whatever the formula, uh, you can you can write that uh, write that, but it takes more time to process that formulas. That that is how I am saying that it all depends on the system and the processor. But if we have uh, uh, like A few lakhs of records. It, I mean, Excel is far sufficient to handle that data. Okay, yep. But if you have like crores and crores of records, you obviously need to go with the uh, databases. Yes. Okay. So let me. Yeah. Let's learn a few things about the Excel UI. Okay. so whatever you see here on the top 
this is nothing but the title bar where you see the uh, the file name with the extension okay and you have the quick access toolbar here quick access toolbar is like like if you frequently use few of the uh, uh, functions in excel okay very frequently like let's say i keep using this removing duplicates option okay but every time i don't want to go to the data and uh, find that remove duplicates option and click on that but i want to add that into the quick access toolbar where i have i have direct access to that here okay that's like a kind of shortcuts where you can select the data and you can just click on click on that instead of navigating to every menu option there and you you can use the keyboard shortcut also for that if you press alt if you press four that is the keyboard shortcut for removing the duplicates okay like that you can uh, you can add uh, many into the quick access toolbar but i don't recommend adding more than five to six okay otherwise it will get clutter okay yeah and if you want to remove just right click here and click on the remove from quick access toolbar and it will be this is the application specific that means uh, if you open your if if you open the same file in your friend's laptop his laptop will have different options in the quick access toolbar because you are not transferring the application but you are transferring the file right okay i have a message in the chat okay voice is breaking uh again is it for everyone is it only for chinna is someone else facing the same uh, problem no sir no i think chinna you have some uh, bandwidth uh, issue uh, please try to connect to a different network or different wifi okay okay sir. yep so here we have the you have the ribbon options i mean uh, this are nothing but where you have the home insert and for every 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 option here you have a subgroups available okay in the home you see all the similar similar functionalities are grouped together okay all the clipboard related items here all the font related items here alignment related items here okay so uh, same way if you go to the data you have the sort and filter options here you have the data tools here like that they have grouped everything so that it is easy for us to remember also if i need some function i can directly go to that option very easily instead of uh, navigating to uh, different different places okay and uh, uh, like as i said this is the name box where by default it shows the cell address that's not the column address but it's a cell address it has the combination of column and the row the the first part is nothing but the column column label always goes with the alphabets okay like a b c d e f g like that a a a b like that till x f d goes and the call the rows always goes with the numbers 1 2 3 4 till 10 lakh 48576 rows okay and you have many other options with this name box you can assign a name to particular table okay where in the v lookup you don't need to i mean not only in the v lookup any reference formulas you don't need to go to the that particular cell every time and select that range but you can always just give a name and it it takes that place okay you will i'll, I'll show that while we are discussing with the references and everything okay in the coming classes okay here we have the formula bar okay in the formula bar you can you can write the formula you can edit the formula or you can see the uh, you can you can uh, yeah uh, you can see the values uh, and we have the difference between the normal value and the display value actual value okay and here we have the status bar where it, if we are running any macro it will show how much uh, how much has been completed and it shows the uh, the the status of the workbook basically okay and here we have the zoom bar this is like uh, not reducing the font size 
but reducing the view itself, like zoom in and zoom out. Okay, like how we zoom in and zoom out the pictures. The same way we can, for better visibility, we can do that zoom in and zoom out without adjusting the font sizes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any any doubts as of now? Am I going fast? Am I going? Am I slow? Good. Sorry. With, uh, no, this this symbol. I mean, uh, normally when we are running a macros, we get that. Yeah. Whenever if you open the Excel, uh, after the Excel is ready, it will be safe. Yeah, it will be safe. Safe ready. Stop. You are saying something? Is that true? Sorry. Is that true? Okay. You want? Uh, or you want? Okay. So this quick access toolbar is nothing but like uh, you can add any any of the functionality. Okay. Instead of going here, you can ri directly right click here and add to the quick access toolbar. It's like a uh, place where you have all the bookmarks kind of thing. You can in the in the Chrome you have the bookmarks, right? The same way you can think of this. Okay. Simply, open to Simply, I mean, in, instead of going navigating to the different place, okay. So let's say I want to remove duplicates. Uh, let's say I want to remove duplicates from this place. Let's say. Okay, I select this instead of going to the data and remove duplicates option, I can directly select this option. Got it? And yeah, as I said, we have listed all the keyboard shortcuts. Okay, you can refer to this sheet, it has around the 200 odd keyboard shortcuts. But I don't recommend you to uh, like remember all the 200 keyboard shortcuts, but remember the few things which you frequently use. Okay. So, for example, I mean, keyboard shortcuts are very, very helpful when you are working, uh, when you are working, I mean, uh, very frequently or extensively in the Excel. Okay. Um, like, I'll tell you how to use this particular sheet. This is where we have listed all the keys like F1, F2, A, B, C, D, or whatever this thing. And what if I press this key alone, this is where it is listed. Like, let's say if I press F2 alone, if I press F2 key alone function, it goes to the edit mode. But if I press F2 along with Alt, with the combination of Alt, Alt F2, it goes to the save as mode. Okay, like for example, here, if you have to, what if pressed alone, what if you use the combination with shift, like shift F2, it edits the comment. Okay, and if you use alt F2, it gives you save as. Okay, like for example, another example, um, let me take a control shift. Yeah, if you take F12, F12 directly gives you to the save as mode. But if you use Shift F12, okay, it, it gives you save option. But Control F12, open. Okay, and if you use Control Shift L, it, it applies the uh, filter option. Okay, like that. If you if you refer to this uh, sheet, then it will be easy for you, and you can select the uh, keyboard shortcuts what you want to remember. Okay, and in the uh, I mean in the coming classes, as I keep uh, uh, working on different different topics, I keep getting these keyboard shortcuts. Okay, yeah, yeah. Coming to this, yeah. So. Okay. 
This one, right? <clears throat> yeah. Like as I said, when we are running the macros, it shows the status how much how much I mean uh, data is processed. And how much is left? No, sir. While running, it is showing what is the percentage of completion. But in this sector, while opening and closing are changing. So in the time, any use for this data? No. Okay. Normally, if you write the formulas and uh, let's say you have write, you have copied a formula and pasted to some one lakh records, it will show you here the processing, how much um, how much uh, process is completed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll do one thing. Hmm. So here I want to write a formula. Basically, the formula is like I want to multiply seven with two. Okay. I want I'm multiplying this number with two. What should be the result? Four. But I'm getting thirteen. Any reason I'm getting thirteen? Sorry. 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is also 5, right? 7 multiplied by 2 should be 13. Uh, let me see. Online, any anyone? Why we are getting thirteen here when seven multiplied by two is fourteen? Maybe before uh, directly enter the seven into two. Can any formatting issue? Formatting issue? No formatting issue. I mean, I didn't apply any format here. Maybe cell reference? Cell reference also, I'm referring to this cell, which has seven, B4 is nothing but this one, and I'm multiplying that with two. B4, B4. Is exactly. So, here, you have it, two versions of this. In the address bar, in the formula bar, it is showing as 6.5. But in the cell, it is showing as 7. Okay? Because this is applied on that. Like the decrease the decimal applied is, is applied on that. So for any cell, for any cell, it has two values. One is the display value and the actual value. So here, this is nothing but the display value. This seven, I can convert even into a different thing. Look at this. I can show the show it as six and half. I can show the same thing as six point five e plus double zero. But look at the actual value; it is not changing. Okay. Whenever you write a formula, it will get applied on the actual value of this, but not the display value. Understood? So, what is the difference? That is because of the formats. Based on the formats we apply, let's say I'm applying the accounting format. It is showing the rupee symbol. I'm applying some number format. It is showing 6.50. It's like a decimal it is showing. If I, but why seven is showing? Because when, okay, let's say if I, uh, what is the, uh, if I decrease the decimal, what is the equivalent number of 6.5? Seven. 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 That is why it is showing us seven. If it is six point three, or let's say if it is five point seven, okay, it will show six when I decrease the decimal because it is rounding off that value. That is the reason it is not actually changing the actual value. It is changing only the display value. Okay, don't get confused with the actual value and the display value. And the same number, you can have the time also. You can have the date also. Long date, short date, like that. And you have the number also, anything. We'll come to this, this number group and all in a while. 
okay yeah i mean let's say uh, here we have 10 20 and 30 right but let's say i'm writing the sum of some formula uh, don't go into the details of the formula just i'm i wanted to add these three numbers okay i'm writing a quick sum formula i will clearly explain you what is the formula and how to start with the formula what are the uh, parameters in that what are the arguments in that okay in a, in a, in the next class okay but let's for the formula sake i am writing the sum formula okay i want to add these three numbers what is the uh, what is the addition of 10 20 and 30 60 60 correct but when i write i'm getting it as zero any reason why i'm getting zero actual value is also 10 this is 20 and this is 30 these are numbers only okay in the earlier case i i agree that is the actual value is different and the display value is different but here the actual value look at the formula bar. the actual value is and the display value both are same but still we are getting the 10 plus 20 plus 30 as zero instead of 60. it's not number it's the text format exactly these are not the numbers but these are the text formatted numbers so the value of the text formatted number is always zero okay how you can identify whether it's a text formatted number or the normal number this okay. align left side is the text look at the alignment okay there are there are few basic rules okay if it's a text the all alignment the default alignment alignment also even for this we can make this towards right now if you see this looks like a numbers you don't even get to know this looks like a numbers but these are not the numbers look at the default alignment i am not looking up the forced alignment this is nothing but the forced alignment okay if i if i have this and if i make it as right align it aligns to the right if i make it as center align it goes to the center if i make it as left align it goes to the left if i click on that again the alignment will get removed and the default alignment will be shown okay for the text yes. where you don't have any alignment applied that is nothing but the default alignment okay this is nothing but the forced alignment so if it is a text the default alignment will be left so for example if you write any text okay the alignment is towards left okay okay and if you have the number the default alignment will be always towards right if you write any number alignment towards right okay and you might get it out if i have number and some text what is the default alignment it will be text because the number will get corrupted if you add any characters or the text into that it will always become the text okay like alphanumeric it is nothing but the text okay and if you write the date if you write the date the default alignment will be towards right because let's say i want to insert today's date i'm getting the keyboard shortcut to insert today's date is control semicolon if i use control if i press semicolon holding the control button i'll get the today's date okay if i use control shift semicolon i get the time okay yeah so if you see here the number and the date has the default alignment of right because num the date is also a number you might get it out date is a date but right is a number for every date it has unique number it is nothing but the serial number okay so 
let's say i want to know the number of today's date 44849 for tomorrow it will be 44850 for yesterday it will be 44848 okay let me show that to you look at this 44848 okay it all starts with 1 1st of january 1900 1st of january 1900 is nothing but the 1 okay. from there it is all the serial numbers till now clear uh is so 10 20 30 then next 10 20 30 they are they are the numbers but written in the text format written in the text format let's say i'll i'll come to that uh in the while discussing the number formats okay how to write the text formatted numbers let's say if i write a lengthy number let's say i have some product code which has some 20 digits SKUs and the product codes will have lengthy digits, right? Bar codes and all. I write a lengthier number. Okay. Look at this. What happened? My I lost my number. I lost my identity. I could save only till here. After that, it is just giving e plus thirty six. Correct. But if I want, if I really want to store that number, what we need to do is we can't store that number in the number format. but in the text format so convert that cell apply the apply the text format on that particular cell and then you can write the lengthy number and it never goes out yeah okay so coming to the logical output in the logical output we have uh, two things one is true the other one is false okay if i write i mean the default alignment will be center if i write true even if i write in the small case it will get converted into the capital case and alignment will be center uh it goes with the false also because these are nothing but the like the boolean values you can think of okay zero and one zero is for false and the one is for true okay and if you if you get any error okay it will always be center line let's say i want to divide 5 with 0 okay get the division by 0 error it's not about only the division by 0 error but we have any errors we have reference errors and many other errors like you see these many errors are we have null error division by 0 error value reference name num any getting data unknown external so the different types of errors you keep getting uh, in excel most of us you see the n error correct okay any any doubts till now all good i am getting some disturbance from one of you let me mute that person if you want you can uh, you can unmute and you can talk back okay yep uh, i'll just get some water how can i change um, number yes, format to text format Uh, can you repeat your question? How can I change number format to text format? How, How can, can I change in... number format to text format? No, no. Uh, the num, I mean, the, the 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 way you should apply the text format is you should not change. You should not apply the text format after you enter the data, but you have to convert that the cell before up uh, before writing the number itself. Okay. because even if you apply this format to the text format nothing get changed because you already lost that data okay the only problem with that is when you are doing with the text format 
uh, everything else like you don't need to uh, apply the formats before prior to that you can apply later also but with just with the text format because you already lost the data you can't retrieve that back okay i'll be coming back in a moment
okay so so we know that i mean uh, based on the based on the format or based on the uh, type of the input whatever we are entering the default alignment will get changed it's a left or right towards center or uh, different things right so we'll we'll talk about this number formatting in a while but i wanted to start with the uh, conditional formatting okay so conditional formatting is is basically what it does is like sometimes it's always better i mean the the visualizations uh, gives more focused uh, attention than by looking at the just data correct so let's say a quick example like for example i want to see i want to know how many duplicates are there in this it's very hard to find out that right okay but if i apply a quick conditional formatting it will be very easy for us to identify what are the duplicates there so how to apply the conditional formatting select the data first okay go to the conditional formatting after selecting the data most of the people what they do is they don't select the data and they directly go to the conditional formatting and what happens is that conditional formatting will get applied only on that particular cell okay so always you have to select the range range is nothing but the collection of cells okay uh, okay yeah so select the data conditional formatting in this you have different groups here highlight cell rules top or bottom rules data bars color scales icon sets we'll discuss about this but if i want to find out the duplicates i want to highlight the duplicates go to the highlight cell rules and at the end we have the duplicate values okay when i click on that all the duplicate values are highlighted now it's very easy for us to write if i if i do it manual if i do it manually it go it takes at least minute and if the data is more it takes more than that okay and similarly let me clear out all the rules we have yeah okay so for example i want to highlight the cells where it has the the word am okay for example conditional formatting highlight cell rules text that contains okay am and i can even change i can choose the color also like for example i don't want that to get highlighted in red but i want that in yellow okay wherever this condition is getting satisfied that cell will start appearing in yellow color like let's say i'm instead of sai i'm entering ram now tell me whether this cell will get highlighted or not no why it will never sorry it will get highlighted we already selected the selection is already selected we have already selected and it is never the the condition formatting is never applied on the values but it gets applied on the cells okay and when we when the values dynamically changes based on the values the cells also the cells also get highlighted based on that if the condition is getting satisfied the cells will get highlighted okay in the same scenario you can get the first first letter of the cell you can identify am is a meaning which uh, if you if you enter am as a text sir so in between letter also you can uh, find it uh, normal cells but uh, i want to know particularly first first two letter the first letter of the uh, range i'm getting it so you're saying that uh here the condition what you have applied is a text that contains am yes, but we never said whether it is at the starting or at the ending if it has am it will get applied yes, but let's say i want this a similar example which you are talking about i want the cells to get highlighted where only the first letter is a okay but if i apply the same rule like text that contains a okay everything will get highlighted manager lead analyst associate manager 
everything will get highlighted. But I don't want all this. I just want analyst and associate to get highlighted. Okay. We don't have a default rule for that, a default conditional formatting, but we can write a formula where go to the highlight cell rules and click on more rules. Okay. And you can select or you can go to the new rule. The same thing over. Okay. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Okay. Here we need to write a formula. Okay. I don't want to overwhelm you to write the formulas because we haven't done with the formula session. Once we are done with the formula session, I'll come back here. We can use the left formula and achieve at this result. But if I if I start teaching you the left formula now, you'll get confused. Okay. I want to discuss the funders of the formulas and then we'll start with the uh, initial formatting again. Okay. But let's discuss about the remaining one where we have the default ones. Like for example, here, I want the number to be highlighted if it is greater than 30,000. Here we have highlight cell rules uh, greater than. If I give the 30,000 here, okay. similarly take this as a homework, like less than 8,000, between 5,000 and 10,000, Highlight in blue color greater than 50,000. I'm, I'm mentioning about the color also. Okay. And here we have seen how to highlight the duplicate values, right? Now, I don't want to highlight the duplicate values, but I want to highlight the unique values. Are you getting it? So here the unique values are E00002 e is not repeated. So that is nothing but the unique value. I want to highlight that value. Okay, so when you get back home, open the same workbook and you can see and explore that option. Okay, and here we have the dates also. Like I want to highlight the date which is in the current month. Okay, yeah. Similarly, we have uh, the sales numbers here. Like for example, I want to see the top or bottom rules, like top 10 percentage or above average numbers. All the numbers above the average number will get highlighted. So the average of this is nothing but 67.444. You see here that. And all the values which are above 64, 67.4444, that all values will get highlighted. Let's say if I change this number, Look at this, the, it is getting dynamically changed because the average is changing every time I update the number. So that's the reason the num above average numbers also will get changed. All that will get highlighted. Let's say I enter this number as 200 or 300. Okay, yeah. Okay. We will discuss more about the, uh, so as today is the first class, I don't want uh, it to get extended, but I mean, not to get extended, but I won't want to overwhelm you. Um, in tomorrow's class, we'll start discussing about the formulas. Okay. And I'll show you uh, how to take the, how to take the inputs to the dashboard and how the automatic, automatic dashboards will get generated and how the data will get reflected in the dashboards and uh, the formulas and all, everything will get started. Okay. Any any doubts we have in today's class or any clarifications you need? All good? Yeah. Okay, tomorrow we'll, we'll continue from uh, 11 to two. Okay. Online? So, okay. Uh, are you going to share the recorded session after the call? Yeah, you will get the you will get the access for this recording session. Okay, okay. And uh, uh, we have the classrooms in uh, Amir Pet, right? We can walk over, right? Yeah, yeah. In uh, in Amir Pet, you have uh, uh, next to Satyam Theater, we have uh, ICSA Bank building. Okay. So that is the that is the uh, location we we are working with. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll plan to be there tomorrow. Yeah. 
Thank you. It's not mandatory to bring the laptop. Uh, I mean, it's always as as we keep sharing the data. So you can uh, once you get back home, you can download that data and uh, you can start working on that. Uh, I mean, if I if I give time, I mean, uh, you can get the laptop, but not required for tomorrow. But later sessions, like next week or not, where I give some uh, uh, practical exercises, you can try to solve it here itself. So, few things we can do that. So, tomorrow I have to actually uh, one, one moment, please. One moment. Yes. Uh, each week, what is the content you are discussing? For, for, for example, my tomorrow we will discuss about formula okay okay. Coming okay okay i'll i'll give that split or else in the in the in tomorrow's class i'll uh, i'll tell you what we'll discuss in the next session okay you want that uh, a prior intimation right you got it. yeah yes kulji go ahead please ah uh, yeah hi uh, so uh, tomorrow also i'll be attending it uh, virtually because i stay a little uh, far from amirpet it's almost near to get cases so uh... yeah no problem you can you can attend on, uh, online you uh, you can access this link um, uh, today you can register with all, uh, everyone get registered with the batch so that you will i mean you all that uh, logistics will be done so everyone will be added in the uh, google drive and you will get the access for that material okay okay Thank you. Okay. The same link, right? The one which we have uh, on the WhatsApp group. Yeah, you can access the same link. If the link is changing, uh, they'll update you with the new link. Okay. Okay. If it is not intimated, then you can access the same link. Okay, thank you. Okay. And uh, can you please fill the form which is shared online? Okay, sure. I'll... You see this reg the form registration link, okay? Uh, okay. Online people, uh, please click on that and you can share that here. Share, I mean, you can uh, fill the data. Okay. 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 Thank you, guys. That's for today. This is Let's first class demo class, right? Yeah, today, this is the demo class. So the actual class starts from tomorrow. Yeah, actual class. I mean, I didn't get we have already started with the basics and uh, demo is nothing kind of uh, a bit kind of, I mean, how you accustom to that. And uh, uh, from tomorrow onwards, we keep continuing the, uh, the same uh, 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 topics, what we are going to discuss. Okay. The conditional formatting. I'll uh, 11 to 2 or 11 to 1? Uh, it will be 11 to 2. Yeah. Okay. We'll have a uh, short break in the mid, like 10 minutes break. Otherwise, uh, it will be a very exhausting. We can't concentrate sure, continuously sure. for three hours. We'll take a little break in the mid. Okay? No. Uh, it generally goes with the like four to five weekends. It always goes one with month. the pace. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. One, uh, one month. It gets completed one month. After that, SQL and Excel. Yeah, first we it goes with the advanced Excel because for any data, uh, it's always start. It always better to go with the fundamentals. When you when you learn all the data types or the nitty gritties of the uh, of the data, then it will be very easy for you to learn the SQL and all. SQL is different form of fetching the uh, data. It's like a structured query language. Here you are doing everything visually. There, what you do is you need to write the commands to get the data. Okay. But if you know the data types or how the data looks, if you don't know how the data looks visually, you can't uh, imagine the data. Correct. Uh, we have, I mean, the, that will be planned uh, uh, once, we, once this is done. Uh, we have a uh, dedicated trainers for that SQL and power sir. The Kishore sir will be teaching that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Well, let's meet at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.